the bonds have sold. That's the news coming from the administration that not only has its fiscal team successfully sold the $108.7 million bond, but also at a new record low interest rate, replacing the former record low of 4.9% earned last December. Although currently in Japan, Governor Eddie Calvo over the phone expressed his excitement about the news. So we, you know, I, I, I was just advised of the selling off of the bonds at 4.6%. So that's an even lower rate than Series A. And so that was some good news for those folks that are waiting for the tax refunds. The Series B bond will go toward paying over $60 million for tax refunds for tax year 2011, an estimated $25.1 million to the retirement fund, and approximately $18 million for health insurance payments and for other purposes. Governor's Chief of Staff Frank Ariola attributes the success of the administration's fiscal policies from streamlining the government to cost-cutting measures. The story they put together is something that uh, we're all looking and seeing today. It, it, what you see is what you get. Uh, again, a strong fiscal uh, conservative effort on our part as well as uh, strong revenue enhancements. The bond proceeds are expected to be transferred to the government by the bond closing date set for Wednesday, June 6. According to Revan Tax, the tax refunds, meanwhile, should be ready to distribute in the mail a day or so after. As we previously reported, the $60 million only covers about half of what is owed for 2011. As the administration has continued to stress, because the bond was split into two series, every dollar that is appropriated or used other than for tax refunds needs to be planned for. It was earlier this month when the Fiscal Responsibility and Tax Refund Commission met to discuss recommendations in not only addressing the over billion dollar deficit, but how to address paying for the remaining and future tax refunds. Ultimately though, both Ariola and Calvo say the work and challenges are not over yet. We're always, on a daily basis, we're always looking at ways to streamline our government, uh, make it more efficient, more effective to service the people of Guam, number one. Number two, we're always looking at ways to enhance and improve our, the economic development of our island. We, we have to continue, but the government has to live within its means. Uh, we can never get in the position where uh, that we owe the taxpayers uh, for many years of previous refunds that were owed. It's just, it, it's unacceptable. Revan Tax, meanwhile, has said that the release of refunds will be based on who filed first, but a cutoff date has not yet been determined until the next week or two. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.